Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Jenna Belly TV. This is my version of a reality TV show. <laughs> um, I realised the last couple of years I've been holding myself back from sharing. But obviously this is still going to be geared around creativity. I've never been the kind of person to share every thought, feeling, event and everything that's going on. Um, so I won't be sharing what I'm having for dinner. Oh, what's this? I think it's... Yeah, I think it might be. It's, it's food. But I just feel a calling to share more and I'm not even sharing even you know half of my creativity not even that so I just feel like I want to share more of that so this is what this is about it's, it's creative creative living creative life and I'm not going to hold myself to doing it on a schedule I'm just going to keep it fun and light and just basically over the next few days anytime I want to turn the camera on I'm just going to turn it on and see what we create so let me know what you think about this like share and obviously leave me your comments and I'll see what I create for this one and if I want to keep creating more um, it will just be about my creative life what I'm creating and probably also my opinions because I feel like I've been holding back a little bit with my opinions regarding creativity so I'm going to be honest and share all of that so you guys that are bellyettes uh, that have been with me for a while I know that this me doing this is either going to make you love me more or hate me more whatever <laughs> so those of you that are my bellyettes I know that you guys are going to um, appreciate this and my honesty and just creating this and those of you that aren't really my core tribe soulmates peeps you know and um, then this might not be for you and that's fine as well so i hope you enjoyed this episode and thumbs up like let me know comments below oh my arm <laughs> <laughs> it's mama elaine you're here to do the new art swap <laughs> yes i am i'm filming the intro for the month's art swap <laughs> so art swaps are something i host every month on journal workshops and Mama Elaine runs them for me and it's mid-month and usually it's as it says it's art but sometimes it's supplies or ephemera and this month April we are doing washi tape <laughs> I don't know why we haven't done it before um, seems crazy we haven't done washi tape before but we are doing washi tapes this month so which bit of the intro or when are you coming in the bit that you're telling about the washes in particular. No, yeah. you're doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, the eyebrows. <laughs> Stop it! I don't want Jack Nicholson's. <laughs> happens more often than I care to admit. <laughs> we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna have an art swap bit, are we? We're just gonna Hi Swappers, welcome to this month's art swap group. As you can see I've got Jenny here with me today because it's a special swap this month. Um, I've just realised that it's the second birthday of the art swap group. Happy birthday Swappers! We're having so <laughs> much fun today and I can't tell you. Mm. Um, so I'm going to show you how to just do them after that. So you don't really need to say anything else, Ma. No, that's it. I'm done. You're so over to Jenny for the rest of the swap details. Gorgeous little seahorses. I was going to say dandelions. Why on earth was I going to say dandelions next to these? Be surprised. It's a great lucky dip. <laughs> um, earlier this week I bought a whole load of washi tapes. I found a really cheap seller, some really beautiful washi tapes. So I do what we always do when we see new washi tapes cheap. I bought a ton of them. <laughs> and then I thought, why haven't we done a swap on this? Because it's we do always want washi tapes because I think we get, I'm looking at a stash of mine now and I think we just get bored of using the same ones and seeing the same ones over and over which is why we're always adding to our supplies so if we can swap it with a couple of other artists um, and you just get a taster of what their collection's like it's just a really fun way of um, not having to pay for a whole load more in your collection so come sign up at Journal Workshops. It's um, free to join and we do all the pairing and all of that. Although obviously now we have done washi tapes 
future art swaps aren't going to be about that although I have a feeling that this is going to be very popular so I think we might revisit it at some point um, but yeah it's a great way to usually because we're making artwork for it get some creation going but also receive artwork from other artists and make creative friends which is a big deal to many people um, and I know this from the community that you know many people have posted discussions and things like this in the community itself just basically saying um, you know as creatives it can be difficult when you don't have creative friends physically in your life you know family friends are all great but it's not all of them that get it and some people don't have anybody at all in their lives that get it so this is one of the reasons why I created the community and it's one of the reasons why I keep multiple stuff like this going because I think it's important to make sure that we have connections not only with our creativity but all the creative soulmates so if that sounds like fun come and join in on journal workshops free to join so right now I'm just doing some five minute art hopefully if I get into it it will turn into 10 minute <laughs> or 15 minute art um, I'm not maybe going to show you the whole page or the process or whatever it's not for this um, episode it's just because this is what I tend to do every day and you know everybody can find five minutes and if you can't I'm sorry love but you're making an excuse because I'm saying that to you because I have to say it to myself if I cannot find five minutes then I'm making an excuse because I find 20 minutes to have a shower you know I find half an hour to eat my food I find however long to spend texting or on the internet or watching a TV show you know whatever you're doing five minutes is possible and don't make the don't allow yourself to be slack with yourself and saying that you don't have five minutes when you know you do when you really only do need five minutes I did a recent video actually on this called the playing the limited supply journal game so if you want to see a five minute process in action then go and look at that and it shows you you do not need more than five minutes so don't allow yourself to get caught up in that story when you know that creating some art just for a few minutes for yourself is going to make you feel better and don't feel like you need a purpose I feel like so many people particularly when you first start art journaling feel like every page has to have a purpose every page has to you know either be beautiful or be about a topic or whatever and it doesn't the art could just be for that moment in time just for creating right now it does not have to have an intended outcome so don't listen to your brain when it tells you you don't have the time or that you have to create a journal page with purpose it's all just your critic finding its usual little tricky ways masterpieces are not required here but you know you can't make a masterpiece if you don't actually sit down and do the creating anyway so just take your five minutes tell yourself you just needed an extra long toilet break or something <laughs> you wouldn't deny yourself that if you needed to go to the loo I mean I know I'm being <laughs> a little bit crass about that but isn't it the truth I have the same things running through my mind I have a million and one other things I could be doing I have just the blah feeling when I just don't want to do it so don't give me that you know I tell you I am being a bit of a kick ass at the moment <laughs> but it's all for everybody's greater good I say everything I say with love So whenever I go around oldie worldie places I always pick up quite a few brochures and I send them to artists all over the world um, because you know there's a lot of awesome collage fodder in it so if you ever get a parcel from me you know some awesome collage in it so if you ever get a parcel from me you know if you enter into a giveaway I do a lot of giveaways on my art community journal workshops or on my newsletter I, I 
do send stuff out every month or you ever buy anything out of my Etsy shop um, paperclay junkie on Etsy then you'll probably get stuff like this from me <laughs> not because I'm particularly endorsing you know any of these things I just know that we love the collage and we love to see other places and um, yeah they're just interesting so I send these particularly to people in other countries <laughs> So at the moment I'm just doing some admin on journal workshops but I've been emailing a woman for a couple of days now and it's taken a couple of hours um, of my time and she's interested in joining my Rock Your Online shop class which is this one. Um, well this is the, the sales page, I'll show you the actual workshop itself. Um, and it's gotten to a point now where I can't give her any more information. I cannot give her any more um, support because she's got to a point where I am now just basically giving her content out of this class. And you've got to be careful when you're an artist because a lot of us are very open and we are very giving but people do tend to not take advantage but not understand that they are taking advantage so I need to say to her now look I've given you all I can you're either going to join the class or you're not but what you're asking me is in the class and it's now time for you to turn up for yourself in order for me to support you further I cannot keep supporting you without you showing up for yourself and actually doing what is required um, that you are wanting to do for yourself. I can't do any more of it for you. And you have to be careful when you're an artist because people just ask you to do things all of the time without thinking that your time is valuable or your resources are valuable. Like last week I had somebody say to me, oh this thing's going to cost me £60 to buy, will you make me one? And I said, yeah I'll make you one if you give me £100. <laughs> because I'll spend £40 on or £50 on materials for it and then 50, the other £50 for my time. People not only expect you to just give your time away for free, they then expect you to basically make something out of thin air, um, not understanding that materials cost money or basically online, things like hosting this site and things, they cost me money. Um, and people just don't, you know, so here's all the different sections of the class and she's going to get all of this information if she joins the class. Now don't get me wrong, there's a whole load of stuff that I want to do and there's a workbook with every section as well. There's a whole load of stuff I want to do for free for people. For instance, there's um, a young girl with learning disabilities who wants me to create um, a picture of Mickey and Minnie Mouse of her, you know, so she just wants me to draw an image. So obviously I'm going to do that, but then there are other people who just want stuff and want stuff and want stuff thinking oh you're creative so you'll do it for me for free so just be aware of it guys that you need to protect your energy and not over give because I know from our community we are a community of givers um, just naturally and, and because we are creative we want to create things and we want to share our creativity with others but just be cautious of where you need to draw those lines I mean I've had to learn where to draw lines for years. So Rock Your Online Shop is a class basically about creating an online shop and making money from your creativity um, in lots of different ways. There's lots of different things you can sell online uh, but it's obviously geared towards own artists and owners of handmade goods shops and there's a whole load of sections in it. Creating a shop, what to make and sell, your shop evolution, how to list an item, the sales and marketing to it, big piece, and then, you know, getting serious about it and then lots of bonuses in it. And um, there's even um, a free class, a free sample lesson here that this lady could go in and, and really start, um, this is the triad that I call it, about what it is you really should be making and selling. Um, and it would really help this lady just to get in and do but I feel like there's many people that at the moment want all of the answers before they actually take any action well here there is something that she could do for herself that's free I'm offering it to to her for free if you guys are on journal workshops and you want the free lesson it's under workshops and it's the second one down at the moment it just says Rios free lesson 
but I can just see it in this lady and in many other people that they just don't want to stretch a little bit into the unknown well unfortunately everything that you've never done before is unknown so just do a little bit and then the path will unfold for you you don't have all the answers before you've asked the question fully and if you haven't ever stepped out into whatever it is you want to do then you don't know what the question is at the beginning anyway it's only as you begin moving that the question forms as to what it is you need to do next and what it is you need to do next but you know I've already given this lady so many points as to what she could do right now taking this free lesson is one of them um, but I just feel like she just then comes back with more questions and more what ifs and more stuff that she really just wants me to make her own shop well I'm not here to make somebody else's shop and make it a success I've given you all the tools to do it it's now your job to go off and do it it's widespread at the moment everybody wants all the answers before they go out and do something life doesn't work like that I feel like people want to know what is happening over here on step 10 before they've even taken step 1 well you don't know what's over there on step 10 you need to move forward in that direction which is actually why I'm working on a new class I might preview it for you hold on it's called creative resistance remedy and it's about actually doing those things that we were meant to do not bowing down to the fear not buckling under our resistance not procrastinating not dealing with perfectionism getting all of that under grips so that you can carry on doing what you were supposed to do in this world I see too many people not achieving their fullest potential because they are wanting to know step 10, because they are worried about perfectionism, because they are procrastinating. So I'm fuming, I'm fuming. I recorded a lovely little bit for this out and about, lovely scenery, lovely clothes. I get home, I change, I put on my glasses and I realized that I didn't put the microphone on so you couldn't hear a word I was saying. So I am annoyed. <laughs> so I'm resting uh, from the Creative Resistance Remedy class release and I've just been out and about today in the countryside, went to a craft fair, got a few nice craft bits and things like that. Candles and crystals and creams, the three C's to Genibelli self care. <laughs> it smells so good. Baby powder and flower explosion. So pretty. So pretty, pretty. And I realised that it's this part that is 90% of the work so it's not like creating an online class the actual making of what's going to go in it is the hard part like this video just talking to you for a couple of minutes isn't hard but it's the packaging it, it's the putting it together it's in this case editing this video putting all the bits and pieces together and you know it's all that that takes the work it's the packaging and the presenting it's not and the releasing it's not the um, the actual creation so this is where the project gets kind of tough but this is where the stuff that's in the creative resistance remedy class you know kind of comes in um, it's why you have tenacity to actually get your projects done and even after today relax it but it also tempered with like self-care like today like just enjoying uh, the day but then I realized that um, now I really want to create something because when you have removed the resistance it's fueling it's kind of hard to switch that side of yourself off so even though like I had today planned as a, as a full rest day um, now I'm getting itchy to create something again so I'll show you a couple of little clips from the new class um, but if you want more then check out the last video I uploaded on the YouTube channel 
or you can go over to the journal workshops page for the new class watch the video and then see all everything else that you get in it uh, properly resistance this comes from within us it's from our fear because when you try to create something fear will come up because you are doing something new you're doing something out of the norm you're doing something risque I felt so much resistance particularly in 2016 that I was gonna close Jenny Belly down for good everything that I've been putting out there on the internet um, for years I was just gonna close it down um, because the resistance was crushing we're probably all gonna feel it at some point over something but it isn't gonna actually stop us and I'm gonna give you my secrets to make it sure that it doesn't stop you again because um, I'm not letting it stop me again that's it now I've, I've been through <laughs> and I'll tell you in my personal story and why this class was created why this workshop was created what it's from it's from real shizzle it's not from um oh i'm gonna make this class around this and it's gonna be a really nice fun concept this is a real real <laughs> practical we're gonna sort it out we're gonna do it so this is what this class is about it's about dealing with your resistance facing the fear and doing it anyway So I'm making up some cute parcels for my creative resistance remedy class students. I'm not going to show you what's inside because it's a surprise for them. I really wanted it to be a complete surprise, just send stuff in the post and they didn't know anything about it. But unfortunately through the way the payment system is set up, um, I didn't get their addresses so I had to go out and ask for all of their addresses. So they know they're getting something. Um, but I'll show you the envelopes, aren't they cute? Just a variety of different envelopes some have got stuff in some haven't yet um okay i'll show you one thing i'll show you little notelets i've made for them aren't they cute i'm not gonna let you read it because you're gonna see what's in it <laughs> um but yeah i've got quite a few envelopes to go make up now and then all the stuff that's going to go inside it so i've got a night ahead of me but i've got a playlist so it's going to be fun and if you're in creative resistance remedy workshop watch out you're going to get one of these in the post I'm doing a dance and I don't know why I'm doing a dance and I don't know why So let's talk unsolicited criticism So last night I posted a Facebook picture of last night's journal page and I said it's a five minute page and I'm really loving these colours So it's obvious that it's a very quick page and I was just playing around trying out different colours next to one another and things and the first comment I received on there was wow all of your stuff's looking the same or something similar to that and um, with how the girl lady posted it, I couldn't tell if it was a genuine criticism or if she was just having a bad day <laughs> and um, was just knee jerk reacting because unfortunately when you put stuff online, you're visible and that is a lot of what happens um, when you receive criticism. And to be honest, that's what happens with criticism anyway. Um, you don't know where the other person is mentally, you don't know how their day's gone <laughs> you know so generally I don't respond if I think it's that kind of comment I don't respond you know what's the point of giving my time or my attention to that you know but I, I couldn't tell if this was you know a genuine um, opinion or not or whatever so I just responded and said thank you very much um, that uh, must mean that I'm getting a style or I have a style or something like that so I decided to take it as a compliment um, because let's I ran through it in my mind to decide whether this was a piece of criticism I wanted to take on or not which is something that I want to talk to you about because I see a lot of people just taking on every piece of information that is given to them regarding their artwork and so we'll talk about that in a minute. So I was running through the journal pages in my mind that I've shared recently and trying to see if they if they are, you know, um, looking the same or not to alter what I'm doing necessarily, but to be aware of it. 
So I couldn't really see that they were, but I'm one person, um, and so obviously I may have a similar thread in things. It's the same hands making things, and I do like to finger paint a lot now, so I think that's maybe where a lot of similarities throughout my journal pages is coming from. But you know, I do find it funny, a lot of people saying, oh, how'd you get a style? And then when your stuff becomes recognisable, people say, oh, it all looks the same. <laughs> but anyway, that's, um, that's a separate point, but that is the point it's not the separate point, it's actually the same point I was going to make about you don't need to take on what everybody else thinks because the fact is everybody has an opinion, everybody has an opinion on everything and you cannot please everybody, <laughs> it really is impossible because people have completely contradicting views on one tiny minuscule of a point on something so you can't please everybody so the only person that it really is important to please is yourself and because we are artists and we often um, associate ourselves with our work, I see many people being quite hurt by things that are being said about their artwork. So I just want to say you don't have to take on just because somebody's given you a piece of, even if, especially if it's unsolicited, advice or criticism. It doesn't matter if it comes from your hubby, your kids, your parents, your friends, people that are close to you, or people you know that you've never met before, um, like this lady posting on my Facebook page. It doesn't matter. You can choose to take it on or not. So I chose to take that as a compliment, um, and it just made me aware of it. So I'm quite grateful that you know she said it, um, whether or not she said it in a supportive or mean way um, I don't know um, and it doesn't matter what does it matter I was watching a YouTube video yesterday I think it's called the seven habits of highly effective artists if you type that in that will it, it'll come up um, and it's like a lecture style mini TED talky kind of thing um, I don't often watch those kind of things but this was mentioned in point six and seven he completely contradicted himself because point six was great artists are ones that um, invite criticism, want criticism and then on point seven <laughs> he said um, follow your heart and somebody had posted again on his social media saying oh you're only going to paint cute girls then or you're only going to draw cute girls because that's all he was doing and then he tried to paint a couple of fellas because of that and his heart wasn't in it so he just said follow your heart don't listen to what people say so he completely contradicted himself but I completely get it because you have to decide per piece of criticism whether it's relevant to you or not whether it's worth you taking that on or not in Elizabeth Gilbert's book Big Magic she was talking about when she got one of her books published and the lady editor or publisher or whoever she was uh, that said yes to publishing her book um, was kind of like an idol of hers or whatever and she said to her oh this I haven't seen anything come across my desk like this in a long time blah 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 I can't remember the exact wording because it's a while since I read it um, but this lady was just basically praising this work saying she hasn't seen anything like it and she's got a rejection letter for the exact same manuscript that she sent to the exact same lady not too long previously and she said she didn't mention this to this woman um, but it just goes to show you don't know where somebody else's headspace is at it could have just been that she was having a bad day that day people's opinions change day to day to day to day hour to hour even so you don't know where they are all you know is where you are and whether it's worthwhile for you to take on that criticism food timer done let's go for five more minutes it won't burn <laughs> i see a lot of people getting really personal about what people say and who cares what somebody else's opinion is you cannot control somebody else's opinion thoroughly agree with Andy Warhol's famous quote about just getting on with your own stuff, just looking at your own stuff and not giving, you know, a rat's what, or the, let them just go off and do what they do. Everybody has an opinion, everybody's a critic, let them do it. Unless it's worthwhile for you to listen to it. So before this piece of criticism, the piece that I got before this latest piece was from a lady who purchased my, one of my recent products, which is called Birthday Tradition Journal. 
you might not have heard about it because I didn't do a big song and dance you know when I when I released this it's just kind of quiet product but it's um, a prompt to journal that you fill out every year on your birthday and it basically creates a living document of your life it creates like a mini um, memoir and she and it, it had a lot of nice feedback from a lot of people it's quite a personal product so the feedback that I got was all via email you know quiet <laughs> um, actually no that's not true I have a group on my journal workshops community where I've created a whole load of videos to go along with the the prompt to journal so if you want the prompt to journal I suggest you get it through the group because then you get a whole load of series of videos kind of supporting you creating your birthday tradition journal but you can also get it from my Etsy shop but all of the feedback was wow I would never have done this had you not created this this is something I would have never have thought of so, you know when I'm really enjoying all of the stuff that is coming up around it uh, that I wouldn't have even thought of looking at had you not created this journal so it was all lovely 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 feedback and then I received an email that was just like I don't like this product um, and it was a little bit like whoa <laughs> jarring in comparison and the lady had completely valid points she said I don't like the fact that it's the same the main thing was that it's the same um, uh, entries every year now I'd made a conscious decision when I created the product to keep the like each of them I don't know how many sections there is per year but there's quite a lot um, only a few pages though total but I made a very conscious decision to keep it general enough so that it could always be customized for everybody year upon year you know I didn't want to create um, very specific um, prompts that would alienate people I wanted it to be available for everybody in it even for me because I made this product for me going forward in my life I don't know how things are going to change in my life so I didn't want to drill it down and make it meaningless you know I wanted it to be able to be adaptable for every life and every situation so it was a conscious decision that I'd made but when you're creating something you make hundred conscious decisions like that or more um, that you don't then think to mention when you put it for sale or give it to somebody or, or whatever because you've, you've thought through so much stuff that you don't always know what is most relevant to mention. So this lady saying that was awesome for me because it meant I went onto my Etsy shop listing and mentioned that, you know, I've had awesome feedback for this but I also had this feedback saying I don't like the fact that it's the same every year so if you don't like the fact that it will be the same every year maybe it's not for you and it also allowed me to create another video that I hadn't thought about to put into the group where I shared a flip of my journal and I shared why it was set up how it was but how year upon year that means that you can adapt it every year so that it is different every year a quick flip of my birthday traditions journal for you guys to show you what I've been doing in my journal you can see from the state of my desk I've just been <laughs> filling out this year's entry and I want to share it with you as an example as inspiration and also to answer a few of your questions regarding the birthday tradition journal um, I just did colors for this one sometime but this could also be a brainstorming box you know like a spider diagram or bubbles or something like that so that's how I'll probably switch that up next year um, and then the pictures of me this is a really easy one to customize each year you could do something different for this every year you could paint a portrait a self portrait uh, but I just adapted it how I wanted it which is exactly what you can do with the birthday traditions journal put it on here with the hinge and then made this final uh, vision board on top I really love all of this and this is how I adapted it this year but next year I may not want things that just give me the feel and the look of what I want. It may be specifics, it may be a, a way of just really honing in on exactly what it is I want. So that's how I might use it differently next year. So that lady's feedback was something that I'd have been foolish not to take on because it gave me an insight into the product from a buyer's perspective and gave me more content to give to you know the people that had already purchased it within that group you know it, it just gave me um, 
useful information to use. <laughs> Another way to put it. <laughs> so when something is useful to you, take it on. When it's not, don't. I can't believe that there are people that still will take on everything that is said to them and listen to it. Ha 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 ha. Ha! If we did that, nobody would ever create anything in the world. Seriously, if if everybody in the world was wired like that, we would still be in the caves. Because it would just be too scary, too risque, too um, reckless to do anything other than what everybody's doing all of the time and be any different at all and ah. Ah, ah. <clears throat> you have intuition my time is going off again you have intuition you know what's best for you my intuition right now is telling me to go get my food before it's black so some of my washi tapes have turned up so I thought I'd show you because I know you're a nosy bunch you are like me <laughs> um, I think this is I bought two lots and one of them was kind of a regular staple pack uh, for my new studio but come on open up so I think these are them just really nice easy to use simple washies polka dots always a good staple thin ones I love thin washies I love the scissors one there's scissors there's leaves and hearts and squiggles Metallic one, metallic two, <laughs> newspaper one, lovely rainbow, more florals, yeah I think these are all good staples and I also got some washies from two of my art swap partners for this month's art swap so I'm showing you this very pretty envelope from the first one Look! so these are from my two partners Liz and Jill thank you ladies Liz sent me some homemade washies and she put them on this acetate which is very clever of her and then I think a CD envelope which is again a very clever idea and she also sent me some Christmassy washi and I'm trying to remember who sent her what oh I suppose it doesn't matter <laughs> and um Jill sent me some homemade washies as well. She put it on different objects, which is awesome. And some paper on this wood, which I think is super cute. And some other cool washies, which I think oh, are adorable. <laughs> Along with some fabric ones, some glitter ones, and a couple of handmade books. So thank you, ladies. So that is my new little washi haul for today. So that is it. This is the end of the first episode. Um, I did actually just do my hair, by the way, but the wind is crazy, so I've got no idea. I think I look like I've gone through a hedge backwards, but that is Jenny Belly life, so there you go. So my plan for these episodes was to keep them at half an hour. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to work. Maybe I'll allow this one to go over, but I've cut so much out of it. I mean, from when I was actually recording the stuff that's gone in it, it was a few days ago now because then work just took over and it was crazy. Um, so a load of it's just had to go in the bin because uh, it won't be relevant for the next episode of Jenny Belly TV. But that's a good thing because it just means that there's always new stuff happening. So there's always going to be new stuff in Jenny Belly TV and I just have to learn to figure out what I most want to put into it, what to record when. But that of course is only if you guys want more Jenny Belly TV. I've loved doing this. It's a real fun like kind of break from everything else. But it's about everything else. 
and yeah it's tricky to figure out what it should be about but that means each episode will be unique if you want some more so let me know um, and I will judge by the likes the shares the comments and all of that kind of stuff whether to keep this going so this is it I hope you have enjoyed and enjoy the rest of your day Mwah. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you would like more, there's three things you can do. Number one, you could subscribe to my channel. Number two, you could sign up for my newsletter where I send out exclusive videos just to my newsletter crew each month along with news, monthly giveaways, new stuff, articles and updates. And third, sign up to my art community, journalworkshops.ning.com. It's free to sign up and there is weekly and monthly art activities going on on there, as well as all of my classes, including a free one, if you haven't taken it yet, called Inspiration Station, all about making art journals and just keeping your creative inspiration up, up, up. <laughs> so go sign up now. Have an awesome day. Bye.